Hi, my name is Becky Graham, and I, my husband and I bought the 2021 FKBS last July. Now it's September. We've driven on uh, quite a few little fun outings around the central California area. Nothing too far, but we went over to the coast one time actually twice we just got back from a winery that we did through harvest host and um, it was really fun we had another couple join us and we just spent the night and it was just a lovely lovely way to spend the day I would highly recommend it I thought I'd give you a little tour of the facility here just the things that we've updated and um, you know had had fun changing okay so we'll start in the bathroom here this is where all of our toiletries are. I have basic cosmetics that I don't have to pack and unpack, which is really nice. And just your basic toothpaste, toothbrush, yada yada stuff. Put a little hook here for the, with its command hook for the shower cap. Another little hook over here for a mirror that has a close-up thing. Um, haven't done anything with the kitchen with the bathroom sink I don't really like these but I'm kind of afraid to take them off at the same time so I think they're going to stay at least for the time being but we don't use bar soap so you know it's the it's the push button it's so much less messy okay, underneath we have just a little a small basket but it's a decent size for putting all of our little extra <clears throat> garbage and um, there's a blow dryer there and then there's a little space back in there that we can stash our um, toilet the RV toilet paper which is a nice place the subwoofer is underneath and back behind there we did a nice uh, different kind of toilet paper holder which you can get off of Amazon. I have um, air freshener. We have we put we installed a 50 amp plug turn the light on uh, in our driveway so we could come home and uh, unpack, plug in the air, uh, keep the refrigerator running. Um, at some point, we have a space reserved at the RV storage facility that's about a mile from the house, so, but we haven't really gotten there yet. So, This is the closet. I have um, a laundry basket underneath there, lots of hanging space. This is Scott's side, and then over on this side. I have a nice spot for shoes. We store the um, rechargeable Dyson vacuum that comes in really handy. Lots of uh, space for clothes. I show dogs, so it's nice to put show clothes there whenever shows start back up. That's a photo of Meyer, one of our dogs, running, doing, doing the races. And this is the bed. Um, not much except for we did put in a extra, a new um, bedspread. We have an extra set of sheets and towels and everything. So making the bed up and getting everything ready for our next adventure before we even get home works out well. This is not even space that we've used yet, but I bought two of those little wooden boxes that double quite nicely as um, with towels in it for like rolls or you know bread at dinner table if we have a group of people that we're having dinner with same same over on the other side um, let me see here storage underneath those are the sheets and towels and um, extra uh, all the extras, kitchen towels, yada yada. Here on this side, there's a bed or a tablecloth, beds, uh, blankets, extra towels, a little extra toilet paper, all that good stuff. And then 
So we're on Scott's side. We put the same basket. We have extra candles and miscellaneous, I don't know, items that we don't really access on a regular basis in the middle tub. Those tubs you can get at Costco and they are perfect for just about every space in this rig. And then as you can see, this is uh, office supplies. So we can mail a letter, we've got stamps, we've got everything you could ever think of in the way of office supplies. Uh, so, not that I don't know if we'll ever use it, but we've certainly got it. Okay, now we're into the kitchen area um, and living area. You can hear the AC going. I probably should have turned it off. There's the kitchen. We've got border terriers just about everywhere you want to look. And there's cutting boards. I just picked these up. They're kind of nice for the drain to drain your dishes on. Um, just gives you a little extra counter space over the the oven. And then in the oven we have an oven in an oven. It's a toaster oven, and it's a perfect size and it fits there, really nice and you know there's no extra room for jiggling. And then I put a tension bar there so. I don't think it would move that direction, but if it did, it's protected. Uh, microwave has the sink covers in it, which, I don't know, we don't seem to use them very often. Because when we're traveling, we put all of the counter things into the sink with these protectors inside the sink to help the sink not scratch. I just picked up this Lazy Susan at Costco, and I think it was like $40. We did a charcuterie tray this weekend that was absolutely gorgeous, and it was perfect to have it on the Lazy Susan. But I'm thinking olive oils and different spices and maybe a, a plant or like a basil plant and have it all out there when we're on trips where we're staying for multiple days. This is our bar cupboard. We have the bar drawer, all kinds of things that you would use if you were making a cocktail. And it works out really well just to slide in here. This is really cool. It came in a two pack. Um, it's supposed to hold wine, but this holds my wine glasses. These are not really glass, they're acrylic, but they're really pretty. They look like glass. And they're just tucked in right up here. And then all of our bottles. And they're pretty secure. They're not going anywhere. They're pretty close, you know, touching each other. I put a couple of rubber bands around a couple of the bottles just to keep them from clanking so much. And then we have the tension bar that holds everything in. And I have never had anything budge from there. Okay, here we go on to the upper level. This is kind of cool. I picked up the spice holders that you can use. They're kind of like command, but they're not. And uh, I found a, I found one of those carousels with spices in it at uh, Costco, and it was like on clearance for 20 bucks, and they were like, I don't know, 30 or so spices. So I just picked out the ones that we use the most, and then I took the labeler and put, you know, labeled them all really well. They do have that on top but you can't see it from there um, I have the tea kettle and a nice sized pitcher back in here and I have the wine bottle little chiller thing that's like insulated um, I got this high sided lazy Susan for all the spices and um, I have we have a tailgater uh, blackstone griddle, so that's the oil for the griddle back there. Salt, pepper, all the good basic things that you would use. Um, so far we've had everything we needed and then some. Um, these bowls are really cool. They're, they're like, they're a combination between a plate and a bowl. So if you're doing a fun dinner that you don't want to do paper, 
that's a nice option to, to do. And then I just have four because if there's more than four of us, we're going to go with paper anyway. And then found this. Um, this works out perfectly in this cupboard. Uh, it's a raised, you can see, a raised little shelf to make for better storage, more efficient storage. I got these. I'm not sure if I even like them that much because usually we'll go with the red solo cups, but they're pretty huge. They make a big Bloody Mary or cocktail. So um, we've used them once or twice. They're okay. Uh, and then over here, this is our coffee station. And these little, I found this online too. I think if you Google Kirk cup holders or something like the K-cup storage, you'd find them on uh, Amazon and um, and then the coffee, hot chocolate, tea, some miscellaneous little serving things. Uh, there's also uh, measuring cups back there, um, filters. This morning we didn't have our electric. Uh, we didn't we were plugged in. We were boondocking, so I made coffee with our little teapot and just poured it over into a whatever you call it I don't know what it's called um, the little funnel thing and into the coffee pot and it worked out just perfect it was great it made a, and then that carafe that makes that coffee maker makes you can either use a k-cup or you can use the um, the uh, regular um, coffee either way this is hot pads and all the linens for the kitchen knives measuring cups these pull down they're really great um, and then miscellaneous other little tools that are handy to have close by in that last door there's only three drawers which i guess is more than a lot of them have okay and then this one we're again using the costco storage container that fits perfectly depth wise and i put all the um, Ziploc baggies and foil and all that stuff. Down below we have a, a drainer slash strainer thing that I use for the dishes but you know also you could use it for pasta and all that. And then um, stacking pans and then the next drawer over is uh, I got these plastic dishes and bowls from Target and they work okay. They're very light, which is a concern always. You kind of want to be mindful of that. And then Pyrex dishes on the on the like little plastic snapware that we use quite a bit for leftovers, that kind of thing. And then some more pans. And then we use the the felt um, liners to make sure that the pans don't scratch and travel. Next covered over, we have graduated bowls with lids. And then in this, we have a little extra space. If I wanted to stash some food, if we were going for a long term, I could throw stuff in there. And then some cutting boards and serving trays. They're all, I kind of like either uh, baskets or wooden things because they don't break so much. Um, and then the kitchen, I like this size of garbage you know so that you don't have to empty it maybe every other day or whatever depending on how much you're uh, cooking and then Scott made I don't know if you can see it or not but he made this little because uh, it's an odd shape he made a little box that holds all the cleaning supplies bleach uh, Clorox hand wipes that kind of thing we also have another strainer that hooks on the side there which is nice um, Okay, then we're going around. We have extra storage space here. With when you when you do the benches in the dinette, you get storage underneath. So we have cookie trays and Pyrex dishes and extra um, paper goods, that kind of thing back in there. Also have an electric skillet that's really handy. It kind of folds in on itself, so it's very space efficient. Here's the other one. It's got pretty obvious all the paper goods um, the Chinette dishes underneath red solo cups 
coffee if we're like hitting the road early. We don't want to mess up dishes or whatever. Um, and then I just put this here. This is a um, paper towel holder that we won at one of our big dog shows from a few years ago. Um, all of our uh, place settings for the silverware just in the basket because it takes up so much space in a drawer it would just overflow one drawer and then um, a napkin holder that matches so that works out well and then we come to the recliner we're kind of overrun with pillows I don't know what we're going to do about that I love them all so much I don't know exactly how I'm going to get rid of any of them and then um, oh this is a clock that we stash we just got home, so I haven't put everything away, but the clock goes over the um, TV right there when we're, when we're where we want to be. And then we have storage underneath, or I mean on top of the recliner. Once again, those Costco bins, perfect fit. We have sewing kit, tools, first aid. Oh, this is games. Uh, the, the labels on the other side. And then this is, that's kind of full. Lots of command strip, walkie talkies, hooks, cords for phones, batteries, all that stuff is in that one. And it works out perfectly. And then the TV little fireplace not much going on around here we put our cocktail napkins there um, you, know, it's, you know just handy constantly using scissors so they're just right there I don't know why but we use scissors all the time and then we go over to the pantry and as you can see um, another Costco bin we've got dog food we have two different kinds for different dogs um, all the dry goods on top of the canned goods bin, which mostly, there's, there's a mixture in there right now. And then down below, I usually tend to fill this with onions, uh, lemons, limes, anything that doesn't really have to be refrigerated. Um, and then in back, we have an extra, I don't know what I'm going to put in here, but like you could put pasta or whatever in there. And then your bug spray and lint roller for the dog hair and a little vase if we ever pick flowers or whatever and um this i i, I took with us one time to make tacos and it worked so well for keeping things warm that i decided to just leave it there for a while and then underneath that we have martini glasses that are kind of sturdy they don't have you know they're not the delicate kind but we like a good martini now and then. We have an air fryer that's quite small. It's perfect for two people. Dogs dishes um, and the all important wine rack, which right now mostly just has mixers in it. But it's great because once this cupboard is closed, nothing's gonna go anywhere in that wine rack. And then we have our, our little whisk broom and dustpan and some popcorn and some syrup and all that and on the underneath area we usually put our jugs of water for coffee and then also um, this is a nice little ice bucket it's unbreakable obviously it's made out of foam but I I tend to stash waters in there extra waters um, so that's that oh the nice thing about this oh, we have motion lights which really really helps to be able to see in, inside and we take a little puppy collar and wrap it around these handles and that keeps everything secure. You could also use a Velcro strip, you know, either way. So if anything does go flying forward, it's not going to open up the cupboard. The refrigerator is your basic, I haven't even unloaded it yet, but, um, you know, just, just, it's, it, it works. I would love to have a bare one, but it's fine. You just have to be mindful of what space you're taking up when you go shopping and that kind of 
everything, but this is like mostly full of frozen hors d'oeuvres, beer mugs, and ice on top. And then we're back around to the beginning with our uh, cutting boards. Those get used a lot. Um, I think that's it. We love this trailer. We love the floor plan. I love looking at videos of floor plans of trailers and seeing tours. I have never seen in a trailer, a 26 foot trailer, the storage and the floor plan that this particular model has. And I just, I don't have one regret. I think we're just, we're, we're tickled to be so, so blessed. And we're so happy and thankful. So enjoy your day. Oh, here's a picture. It's Bannerkin, that's our kennel name. And that's what a border terrier, the silhouette of a border terrier. It's perfect for right there. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.